BHS family, how are you today? I just wanted to take this opportunity to reach out. Uh, I had run into several of you uh, out in town at the grocery store and whatnot and thought it'd be a good time to send out a video and give you some information because a lot of you have questions. Uh, I will say that it's been mixed emotions when I've been running into you uh, in public because we can't shake hands, we can't hug, we can't greet each other like normal. Uh, we've got to keep social distancing, but it's something we have to do right now to make sure that we stay safe during this time. Uh, many of you have questions uh, about a lot of things and I'm going to try to address as many as I can. Uh, some I can and some I can't. Uh, the first question that's on everybody's mind, especially if you're a senior, is about prom and graduation. So right now, obviously, uh, we, don't, we haven't said anything public about prom or graduation because at this point, uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. But I will tell you uh, that there are conversations taking place behind closed doors to ensure that those things happen. We want to make sure uh, that you have the best senior year you can possibly have. So ensure that we are thinking about those things and we're conversing about those things. But as you know, uh, things have changed so quickly lately, I hate to tell you one thing and then have to go back on it later. So I'd rather just wait, make sure we have a solid plan in place uh, before letting you know. But I also want to put your mind at ease that we are thinking about those things and planning some things. So the next most popular question that I'm getting a lot of questions about is about grades. And I know a lot of you right now are, are dealing with various circumstances. It's definitely an unusual situation. And so here's what I'm going to say about grades. It's just like when you were at school. You do the best you can to turn in what you can and do the, do the best you can on the assignments. If for some un unknown reason, whether it be work or uh, troubled access to the internet or whatever's going on, I encourage you to reach out to your teachers and let them know. Uh, almost 100% of the time, uh, if you'll communicate with our teachers, uh, they'll provide some kind of grace, especially in a situation like this. Next, I want to address the issue about qualifying for graduation. So let me say this first. For seniors, EOCs have been canceled. So regardless of your situation with EOCs, whether you've passed five or haven't met that criteria yet, you will still be allowed to graduate under other circumstances. So during this time, if you haven't passed all of your EOCs, the most important thing you can do is earn all of your credits, which means turning in all of your assignments, ensuring that you're engaging appropriately uh, in the material um, so that you can get the grades you need. Okay, because the state of Texas has told us that since EOCs are canceled, then we're going to develop our own local policy for graduation. And what that's going to what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to graduate through earning your credits and through the individual graduation committee uh, situation. So, in other words, don't worry about the EOCs if you're a senior. Worry about getting your grades. Another question I'm getting a lot of is, what about EOCs? if I'm not a senior. And so here's how that's going to work. If you're not a senior, but you are currently enrolled in an EOC course, you will not be required to pass that EOC to graduate. You will be required to earn that credit. So if you're currently enrolled in Algebra 1, English 1, English 2, Biology, uh, or U.S. History, then all you need to do is finish out the year strong and earn the credit in those courses so that you don't have to take those EOCs again in high school. Now, that being said, if you previously took an EOC in one of those courses, you will be required to take those EOCs again prior to graduation. So I hope this information has proved valuable to you. Um, I hope it put some of your mind at ease and at least answered some questions. Um, like always, if you have any questions, please reach out to your teachers, reach out to me. Um, at the end of the day, we're all in this together and we will get through this year.